you know, there are much benefits. Uh, it's very good, very uh, profitable if you use that standard for the building up of a new controlling system, but you can also use the standards for the further development of a controlling system. Uh, it's it's help you, it's, it's a guideline, it's a benchmark, and so I think the standards are really valuable and uh, very important uh, for the use uh, of uh, uh, controllers. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a question, it's difficult to answer. Uh, I think the successful companies use it really, and I showed today some examples from really successful German companies, and I know they use it, they adapt it, you know, you cannot one-to-one -one, uh, adapt it into your company. You need, uh, yes, uh, a flexible uh, uh, adaptation. You need an adaptation that suits to your company and the surrounding of your company. And my, uh, uh, my uh, observation is that really good companies, profitable companies use it and maybe we have to promote it more into the community that it's worth. You know, it's an investment to work with uh, standards and the, the uh, companies should invest time and effort to use and of course adapt it. You know, there are really uh, much instruments. Uh, uh, of course, we have the instruments for the strategic uh, planning process. For example, balance scorecards is very uh, common, very successful uh, instrument. I can rec recommend to all companies, also in Macedonia, to use that, uh, that instrument. If you look on the more operational excellence uh, level, it's good to use, for example, to reduce the overhead cost, the activity-based costing approach. I also like the target costing approach and uh, yes, we need a very flexible budgeting approach. That means uh, we should use uh, instruments that help us to uh, create a flexible budgeting process. For example, rolling forecasts. It's also an example that helps to reduce cost to increase efficiency. You know, uh, we, should, uh, we, sh uh, we shall convince or we have to convince uh, the Macedonian community and the Macedonian companies that it's worth to invest money and time uh, uh, to know something about uh, controlling, to learn how controlling works, to learn also how uh, uh, instruments will work and will be yes, possible uh, 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 will have a possible influence and uh, improve the, the profit. That means we need executive education initiatives. Uh, the company sh should invest into the further development of the controlling abilities, the controlling competences. And I think the next step is that they use really that things and instruments we heard in the classroom.